Welcome to a new fragrance review. Today we're going to talk about Sultan Al Oud by Al Rehab. So again, this fragrance is an oil-based fragrance with that little ball to roll on my skin to smell it. The bottle looks like this. It's written Al Riab in Latin and Arabic alphabet. Box looks this. Like little triangle. So, we're now gonna try to smell. What I'm picking up is woody note. There's a lot of woody note. It's not any wood that I could say what it is. It's more like woods together. I pick up some wood in it and really it's more of a woody wood than an animalic wood. I'm picking up some spices. That's about it. Longevity of the fragrance is not really good considering that it's supposed to be concentrated, considering that it's having wood. Even synthetic wood fragrance, you'll imagine it to last really long. And also considering that it's oil-based, also it's something you'll imagine will last longer than the alcohol-based fragrance. On my skin, it lasted three hours, and it's a bit disappointing. Projection also is really bad. I'm surprised because most of that brand project strongly. They last long. This one doesn't, even though I would assume it's the one that would last the longest just by its name and the fact that it got wood. And for the complete note breakdown, there's no top, heart, base note, there's just note. So the notes are woody note, wood, spicy note, vanilla, musk, and floral note. And I was gonna forget to tell you on my skin, on my skin, on my skin I'm getting a lot of woody note. And some wood, and the spicy note, it's really, really soft. And as it keeps going, the wood is not there like that much. There's the wood that became more toward musk, musky wood. And toward the end, it's mostly musk with some little floral note that's there. And where I would see this fragrance, I think it could be a good business fragrance somehow with the smell, but I don't think the other qualities of it would make it such a good business fragrance. As a dating fragrance, I don't think it will be that good. Winter fragrance, it will be bad. Summer fragrance, it could be nice if you like woody fragrance and you know in summer it will project probably more so it should be a good summer fragrance and as an everyday fragrance would be bad unless you absolutely love it and the bottle is small so you can put it in your pocket and no one sees that you're having it so you can reapply it every break you're having but it's not really a good everyday fragrance Really, the only thing I would see with this fragrance is that it's woody, it's calm, it's not overly sweet. It could be a nice fragrance before you go to bed, if you put fragrance before going to bed, and that's pretty much all I would see with that. And who I would see wearing this fragrance, I think, with this one, I don't know. I don't know who would be uh, wearing it. I, usually I can have, a, have an idea, but it doesn't last long. It's good for going to bed, so it's not, it's not quite a fragrance that I would see anyone wearing, or I know anyone that's really in the market for that. But with the price it is, if you enjoy wood, it could be a nice fragrance to have to your collection, in your collection, but that's pretty much it. So, hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed, like and share. If you ever tried this fragrance, tell me what you think about it. And if you tried any other from Al Rehab, tell me what you think about it also and which one I should try. So thanks for watching and see you soon.